So the next thing that we're going to look at is which group migrates. So very often we're going to have unsymmetrical ketones, which means ketones that have different groups on either side. So if you look up at the top left of slide four, we see a phenyl group, and then on, on the left-hand side of the ketone, and then various R groups, which could be methyl, ethyl, isopropyl, and terbutyl. So we have an oxidant. First possible product would be if the oxygen inserted between the phenyl and the ketone, carbonyl to ketone. The other possible product is if it had been the R group that migrated, so that would place the oxygen between the carbonyl and the R group in that case. So take a minute to look at the trends and see if you can predict which groups migrate preferentially. So one of the main things that we notice when we have a primary migrating group like methyl or ethyl, we get almost exclusively phenyl migration and no R migration. When we have a secondary or tertiary R group or potential for migrating group, now it's that group that becomes major. So overall what we can say is that a terpeno group or a more substitute group migrates more easily than the isopropyl, than a less substituted. That migrates slightly more easily than phenyl, and all of those migrate more easily than a primary substituted R group. Now notice that these trends are fairly rough, but in general, they go along the same lines as the groups that can best stabilize a carbocation. We'll try to predict the outcome of the reaction on slide five. Did you do it? Okay, here's the answer. So we have peroxide, which will be deprotonated by the hydroxide. That just helps to make that oxidant a little bit stronger. We're under basic conditions, so we're not going to protonate the carbonyl first. So in this case, it's going to be a direct reaction onto that carbonyl carbon. And I'm just going to abbreviate the arrow group AR. And now we have to decide which group is going to migrate best. So we have an aryl, which is comparable to the phenyl ring in the previous slide, versus a methyl, which is primary. So the more substituted aryl group will migrate most easily. The lone pair of electrons from the oxygen push down. That pushes the aryl over to the oxygen, and that oxygen-oxygen bond breaks. And in this case, that gets us directly to the final product. So overall, we have the oxygen that inserted itself between the ketone and the aryl group. So notice that overall, we've made an ester. So bayer vilga reaction is a great way to make esters from ketones, and it does so under fairly mild conditions. Notice that there are these other functional groups that were tolerated, or otherwise said that they didn't react.